Hey guys, welcome back to Purely Walking. It's me, Ellie, again, and today I'm here in one of the most cute and beautiful places, in my opinion, in the Zona Colonial, which is the colonial zone here in Santo Domingo. I want to talk to you specifically about what to do in terms of the stay here in the Zona Colonial and why I believe this is a wonderful choice if you want to do tourism in Santo Domingo. So this place, or this little street that I'm actually in is called Regina's Alleyway or Callejón de Regina here in Zona Colonial. And it inspired me to make this video because it is an underrated place when it comes to people wanting to stay here. Some people always look for Piantini, Naco, those more modern areas. But this specific spot right here, this alleyway, has a lot of Airbnbs and little uh, boutique hotels that are really nice and I don't know if you can see behind me but there is a corner cafe here that is really really nice it's very beautiful here and it even has um, a barber shop and salon I actually saw the other day there was a property for sale here and I was like, oh my goodness, I need the money to buy something here because I'm sure that um, it's a very good spot to put an Airbnb in if you want to invest. And if you're a tourist wanting to stay here, it is a really cool place to uh, stay in as well. I'm going to put on the screen so you can see a little bit of the pricing. Uh, when I find some Airbnbs available here and the little boutique hotel that is right here in the Calle Honda Regina It's called Bizini Hotel, which is the name of the street, Bizini. Um, so I'm going to put the prices up on here so you can know around what the price is to stay here. And if you're an investor looking for this area, you know what type of price range you can opt for in your Airbnb. Another good choice when it comes to looking for somewhere to stay is Gasque. This is one of the oldest sectors in the city because it is in fact right next to Zona Colonial. It does have those traditional old homes and it is really nice and tranquil as you can see by the streets that I'm driving by. Something that I did forget to say when I was in Zona Colonial back there was the fact that it's also really close to the Malecón which is very very nice it's right next to like the oceanside streets and also it is right next to um, a lot of culinary options just um, nice restaurants um, and places to go at night as well so it just so happens that Gasque is where the Palacio Nacional is which is like the White House here like where the president works and stuff uh, also another really interesting thing is that we have the most expensive university here in Gasque, which is Unibe. So you can actually, if you want to invest here, you can have an Airbnb for students and rent them out in dollars, which would be a really good re return on investment. Uh, so Gasque, it is a really cool place. I really enjoy the fact that it is like a more chillax place as well, more traditional, old school 
Uh, there are more modern buildings. The old houses are being torn down, as you can tell behind me. Uh, this is a modern building that was built recently. Uh, so the old school houses are being torn down little by little, but there are a few of them that still remain here. So um, I don't know, maybe you can find one of those old traditional homes to stay in and that would be really nice. So I just found some locals, maybe they can answer some questions. How are you? Oh, yeah. What do you like about living here in Gaspe? What would you say it's like? How much can I rent a two-bedroom apartment here in Gasque? Well, aquí particularmente están los pequeños apartamentos en dólares, a ver, con habitación, con los equipos y todo, a ocho mil, a ochocientos dólares. What would you say it's like in terms of safety here in Gasque? The answer to this question will be up on the members block. So if you're interested in knowing about the security and safety in this sector, go ahead and check that out. I also asked him about his salary as um, a utility guy here in this building. If you want to know how much he earns, you can go ahead and check out the members block as well. Gasco actually has very interesting history. It all began when Sola Colonial started getting a little bit too tight, the narrow streets and the places were too crowded. So the socialites and the elites started looking for land right next to Sola Colonial where they can build these beautiful and architecturally uh, wonderful houses. So in Gasque, you will find these old colonial type homes in the middle of big lots of land, very spacious and very well made and well designed houses. So in an effort to preserve the elite or form of living of Gasque, in the 1980s some laws were put in place prohibiting these uh, large buildings and tall buildings to be built in this area but also they declared uh, cultural and historical heritage these old homes that were here so what that did was instead of making it more valuable to live in Gasque, it made the homes have less value why well because the high developers and the people that wanted to build the sky high building went off to other areas of town where they didn't have these prohibitions so you would see the most highest buildings we build in Anacaona Avenue or Naco Piantini places like that so when these efforts to actually make Gasco more elite um, backfired and the land was actually cheaper then uh, people from you know middle class or lower started moving in and people that didn't value as much this area started putting in little commerces here and there and now Gasco is a mix of different things you have modern buildings you have historical buildings you have old buildings as well so if you come around Gasco you will see some more modern buildings you will see a little bit of businesses some schools and you will also find some of the actual historical homes that have not been upkept because the homeowners don't have the cash to put into those homes and they look a little bit abandoned. But if you look closely, you will find some other very beautiful colonial homes that have been upkept and you see the glimmer and the glamour that was once there when the home was built. So there are a few stately and beautiful homes here in Gasque that remain. All in all, Gasque is a very good choice if you want to stay near El Malecón or if you want to stay near Zona Colonial. Don't expect there to be uh, the best commerce in terms of like, you know, malls and big plazas here in Gasque, just because of the history that I explained. Um, most of the malls were built in other sectors of town, but uh, if you just want to have a tranquil stay, then this is definitely a good choice.
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna leave you here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also hit that like button if you want more videos like this. This is me signing out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.